Hello folks, Simone Spack 33. Welcome back to Tales of the Abyss part number 69. Man, it just dawned on me that like, we're gonna be at like part 100 eventually, and it's gonna be like really weird. Just saying. Um, so last time, we finished the Nista Marsh, we ran away from the behemoth we could have beaten, but you don't do that right now. And then we came to Belkin, we got my save for Ash, and now... We need to go back there and look for Hankin, but first, I believe you can do this little side event if you stay at the inn. And if not, then I'm wasting my money. Yeah, okay. I knew you'd do this. I figured this would be voiced out, uh, voiced over, but I guess not. All right. All right. I don't know why Guy is telling us about this. All right. It's kind of a bit weird. All right, let's go. We're gonna follow Guy, even though he's like right in the room. <laughs> like he hasn't left yet. <laughs> oh no, this is a uh, voice that overed. Really? Even with Van? That's a bit weird. Van's just chilling out here, just in front of these boxes here. All right, so Van's wondering why Guy won't help him, and Guy just doesn't believe in what he's doing right now. Oh, but Van wants to bring back Hod. And the guy's like, no, it's gone. See, these are like a little better than skits, because it actually has like story and stuff. Oh, so Van apparently pledged his sword to Guy, not like the other way around. It's a bit weird. <laughs> if you still think he's your lord, I appreciate you obey my orders. Van Distelka. Stop this foolish behavior. And I shall return your sword. Yeah, cannot obey. Alright, well then I guess they're never going to talk again privately. Alright. Whoa, no way. Like, they're going to fight or something. Crazy. We're not going to fight Van. What are you talking about? That's never going to happen, ever. I don't know why Luke hid here. And how did he get here? This is, like, further than where Guy was. And he just ran the opposite way of the inn. Just saying. <laughs> oh, a guy knew he knew he followed him. That's kind of clever. <laughs> yeah, man, I feel bad now. What, guy, you just pointed it out that he knew. You knew. <laughs> He should have just kept sleeping, and then he wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> They're good friends and stuff. Remember when I used to sing songs with the inn? That, w that happened once. I used to sing along to the sound of the inn that already played. I'm not- don't know why I'm doing that now. Alright. I don't know why I did that, like, a little too late, didn't I? I could've- oh, I should've said that while I- while I play- uh, whatever. Whatever, it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. Alright, so we have to go back and find Hankin. Which is a bit weird, because we just had to go here, and I was like, you know what? We're gonna go back! Because the whole reason we came here was to find Spinoza. Which we didn't even do. We just found Hankin. Uh, I'm pretty sure all you gotta do is just go... <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Go to... Have we been in here? I feel like we've done this already, but... Um, I'm pretty sure all you gotta do is just go to, like, in the room in front of Van. Uh, yeah, I swear we've done all this. No, we have not done this already. Really? There's other drawers here. That's why I keep hitting this. I'm positive there's other drawers. No, I'm po- maybe it's not in this room then. Let's be in here. Yeah, dark ship. I can keep opening him, I think. No, maybe it's this one? There's one drawer like that where you have to open it a bunch of times. Uh, so we've got some two very unique accessories. Uh, one is for Anis. It actually raises her attack, her physical and phonic attack. We've been here before, so I missed out on this earlier. Uh, maybe not as useful now because the Elven Cape is really good just because of all the defensive bonuses it adds. Like the resistance to every element besides light and dark is really nice. And the defense, but I mean, if you want to up her phonic attack or physical attack a little bit, it's not bad. 
It's uh, pretty good. Uh, Dark Seal. Um, what this does to you is you get more experience, but you can't use any arts in combat, and you take double damage. <laughs> so the experience there. There's another item like this too. I think it's even better than this, but like <laughs> even worse effects to you. I and mean, like you, you think taking double damage and you can't use any arts is worse. It's like what could be worse than that? Well, it's it's like ridiculous. But you get even more experience if you wear it. Only that character. It's not like everybody does. I think. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Yeah, that's probably how it works. It wouldn't make any sense if it didn't. I can't believe we haven't been in there yet. Why did I not go in there? Like, that accessory is, like, really good. So, I don't know. I'm an idiot. Anyway, cutscene, I think? You want us to take on a secret job? Out of the question. God General Dist is in charge here. If he found out, there's no telling what would happen. Oh well, I guess I'll leave building the contents of this forbidden text to Eamon's group in Sheridan. What? Eamon? That Tamra and her cronies aren't going to take another Don Age phone machine from us! Uh, okay, if that's how it is, we'll take on your job. Huh? What? Why are you so opposed to the guys in Sheridan? We've been rivals in phone machinery research since our days at the Royal Academy. We of Belkin's Class I are at 99 wins, 99 losses against Sheridan's Class M. I won't lose anymore! Guy, you knew about this? The rivalry between Class I and Class M is famous among phone machine buffs. We should get the governor on our side, or information might leak to Dist. But the governor is currently our enemy. Don't worry, leave that to us. All right, let's go, Kathy. There they go. <sighs> I suppose we'll explain our plan in front of the governor. All right, so we have to go to the governor's office. That's uh, near the inn. They're gonna make. I thought this would just warp us there. I guess I shouldn't take this game. Why did I go in here? Whoops. For some reason, I thought I went in the room behind us. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to be too lazy, but I mean, come on. Warp us there. <laughs> don't make me walk there. <laughs> You've told me exactly where I need to go. I mean, I've already been there. But I mean, if this game was all like quick jumping and stuff, like. What would be the point anymore, right? What, you just want the game just to play itself for you? I mean, at the same time, I, literally all I'm doing is going from here to another place in this city. <laughs> Alright, can I activate this now? No? I, I'm, I'm serious! Something happens with that! It says nothing happened now, but eventually, maybe, I swear, maybe Mew Attack works on a fire, I don't know, but... Anyway, the governor's residence. I thought it was the office. Apparently, he's going to his house. Master Luke! Relax. The governor is going to help us. I've been ordered to search for Master Luke and Princess Natalia. I just can't seem to find them. That's all. Understand? Oh, please. You're as excited as anyone about that forbidden text. Either way suits us. We'll explain what's happened so far. Go ahead, guy. Me? Oh, all right. I see. That's some story. It's hard to believe. What are you talking about? Rugnica's already gone! We'll first need to measure the frequency of the core's vibration. How do we do that? by inserting a measuring device through a passage ring into a Sephiroth tree. So, we'll need a Sephiroth that we haven't lowered yet. Sherry Hill and the Zhao Ruins are both in the cliff off now! Shall we ask Grandfather in Yulia City? We need the Albior to fly if we're going back to the cliff off. Oh yeah, it can't fly right now. We could take the Yulia Road. Then let's go to Doth. Ion might know where the Sephiroth are too. The Sephiroth will be closed with a Dothic seal. We'll need to take Ion. We'll build the measuring device here. Thanks. We're counting on you. We'll head to Doth in the meantime. And now they're gone. 
<laughs> you can't even go in the back room. They're just they're out of here. Nah, they don't need to be in there anymore. I feel like there's another cutscene. What was that about? Spinoza just ran away. Spinoza? What was he doing? I'd say he was eavesdropping and is now going to report what he heard. Spinoza's not that kind of man. You can't judge a book by its cover. Were you talking about something you wouldn't want overheard? They're going to secretly rebuild the phone machine from the forbidden text. We're going to bring Ion here in the meantime. At any rate, we just need to catch Spinoza, right? I'll find him. Ash, you're helping us. Then let's look for him together. D don't get me wrong. I want to ask Spinoza something myself. I'm just helping you on the side. I do not intend to get friendly with you people and that replica. Don't be stupid. We don't know where he went, and you'll need a vehicle. Enough. Just go get Ion. Okay, that does it. I'm going to find Spinoza before that jerk does. Don't talk about him like that! He reminds me of a young Eamon. He's probably shy and lonely. Huh. That makes him all the worse. Listen, Luke. Spinoza will try to leave the country by ship. You find him before that Ash does. Of course. Just so you don't forget, bringing Ion here is what's important. I, I know that. We can still take a quick look around the cities along the way, right? <sighs> you pick strange things to be stubborn about. Alright, so no, we're not going to head to Doth directly, because we got to go look for, um... Okay, we don't need to... We really don't care about Skits, Luke. Okay, we don't want to lose to Ash. Uh, this is a side quest that is actually very important that you do not screw up. <laughs> um... So, we're in the Albior now, because, uh, I forgot, this is the first time we've been in the Albior since it got stolen from us, and now, uh, yeah, we can't actually fly with it right now. It's, uh, really weird. I don't know why it's giving us controls. Um, but now we can take it to ports. Um, Port Belkin might be one you have to go to? I can't remember. Uh, we have to go to a bunch of different ports. This might not be one of them, though. Maybe it's not. If you hit depart from these ports, uh, you will board the Albior. Um, this is actually used in a... <laughs> there's lots of glitches in this game. Uh, but there is one glitch you can use um, that I would definitely want to go over later. We're not doing it right now, so I don't know why I'm talking about it. Okay, so what we want to do is head to Sheridan, I believe. I, maybe you don't have to head to the ports. Maybe it's just the cities themselves. I think that's it. So we're going to head to Sheridan first. Uh, you can use the Albior to dock on these beaches, but you normally can't land on like this rocky surface with the Albior. So it's kind of, I'm kind of like cheating. I don't know if you're supposed to know you can land on those beaches, but you can, so... Anyway, you want to have to share it in here. I think. Maybe it's Port Sheridan you want to head to. Oh no, it is here. Okay. Spinoza! <laughs> if that weirdo comes here, I'll beat the snot out of him! He's supposed to have fled the country. This isn't the place to look for Spinoza. Oh, I thought he might have come looking for help from a friend. He's no friend! Alright, so you just want to head... Basically, to do this side quest easily, you want to head to one city... Well, there's a couple that, you ha that you're supposed to go to or whatever. Okay, you don't want to go to Doth, because that ends the quest, and then you lose. You do not want to do that. Uh, but you want to go, the easiest one is just Sheridan, because it's right here, right? Like, just right outside of uh, Belkin. And then you want to head to Grand Kokomo. Then that's it. That's all you got to do. And you complete the side quest. Uh, where's the quickest way from where I am? Through here. Hopefully it won't stop us with the stupid, um, lightning in the, in this little area here. There's, like, areas on the map we can't technically go through with the Albior yet. It's all side stuff, too. There's lots of side quests in this game. Um, that definitely adds to his length. If you were to play this game and not worry about anything, like any side quests, you'd probably get through it pretty fast. I mean, kind of, but 
you would miss a lot of crack. There's so much cool stuff. That's what I really like about this game. I don't know. I, this is lo I love all the side quests, to be honest. I I think it's the costumes that really make it. I don't know why it's that, but just changing your character's appearance seems like it's such like a simple thing, but I, I just really like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird that way. I guess you have to head this way. You're looking for Spinoza, right? Ash is mad. He says you should go to Doth. He knew exactly what you'd do. Shut up. We confirmed Spinoza's heading this way. Ash has probably got him on that ship by now. What? After all that, I still lost? This wasn't a contest. Yeah, but... Ash did what he needed to do. Shouldn't we be heading to Doth? Yeah, you're right, guy. Wow, you're being awfully easy. I'll give you a present for trying so hard. What's this? Our crew will help you as long as you have this. Give it a try sometime. Oh, okay. Thanks. Can we finally head to Doth? I'm dead from getting dragged around everywhere. Sorry, Annis. Everyone. To Doth it is, then. Alright, so now we got the Dark Wings badge. Um, this... Firewood bug? What? I don't know where I got that from. Drive chamber. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they show you some of this stuff. Like, we don't have the flight stone, so it shows that. I don't know, weird things. Okay, so anyway, Dark Wings badge. Um, not important right now, but of huge significance. Um, without this, there's actually like a full area in the game we can't go to. And it's so easily missed. Like, if you don't do that quest properly, you could miss it. Um, so just do what I did if you're playing along, I guess. Uh, if you're not, then I, I still I understand that too, if you're not playing along. But but yeah, you definitely want to get that Darkwings badge. Um, is it, am I, I'm seriously going to stop by the stupid thunderstorm thing? Like, I'm in the water. How could I even get to there anyway? That's one thing I don't like about this game is... It's restriction, it's like, oh, you have a flying device now, but we can't let you go to some of these other areas until you get something else later. All of which, all, I don't know if you noticed that thunderstorm thing, we can get through that later, uh, but once again, completely, like, uh, optional, like, you don't have to even do it. And, does the LBR move slower, like, not in the air? I feel like it does, but I could be crazy here. Remember when we had the Tartarus? This, this is exactly what this is like, except go on land. Also, I went completely by off. Like, just right on past. That was, like, pretty stupid. Alright. So, it's right here. There's a beach. We do have to actually walk because there's a bridge you can't actually get up with the Albior. So, we need to do that. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> It's like, where's this beach? There we go. Yeah, so we can't get past this bridge without the flight stone. So, we got we got Parker here and actually walk. Walking's a weird thing. We gotta fight this knight bee, which, um, I mean, we're gonna wreck him. Or is it bee knight? Like death fun. bee. Is it death bee? There's no knights. We're gonna, we're gonna mess him up. Or maybe not. I'm gonna get hit a whole bunch, though. And energy Blast doing, like, so much damage. Yeah, these are very simple encounters now. I shouldn't be getting hit by them, but Anis is kind of awkward to control, just because... Like, it's very easy for her to get hit. She's a large target because of Tokunanga. That's how you pronounce that, right? I think. Yeah, so she's a very easy target to get hit by attacks, and her, her like, attacks with Tokunanga are, like... They don't have any range. Like if you see, when you see guy and Luke swing their sword, you can see what they're hitting. But with her, it, it's really weird. It is fun to use Anis in combat. Don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, that's right. This is a thing that exists here too, right? Eh? Kind of forgot you had to walk by this. I guess maybe that's why they put that there, so you can't drive by here with the Albior. I don't know. Um. We're here. I can see the cathedral. It took a while to get here. Well, a certain someone decided to take the scenic route. Okay, okay, enough already. 
but it's true. Yeah, I can't back you up on this one. I can't defend you, Master. Don't you start in on me, too? It's funny because you definitely want to take the scenic route here. <laughs> you do not want to miss out on that Darkwing's badge. Are we already at 21 minutes? Wow. Just like, maybe not actually exactly 21 minutes, but we're probably pretty close. This game just flies by. Am I getting back attacked by this Blaze It? I think that's what this is. <laughs> Blaze It. Uh, 420, right? Alright. These guys are just annoying. I hate these little bird guys. Like, I, you know what? Like, there's all these things I could just talk about and spoil, but well, what's the point? Why not just get get to it when I get to it, right? Yeah, these guys are not difficult. Is there one left alive? Why is he not doing anything? Talia's wrecking him up. See how much more damage he's doing than everybody because that stupid clay arrow. It's not even fair. Oh, I didn't miss him. Um, equipment. When I go back to Doth here, I'll probably be the exact same things to buy, because if it's not, that would just be stupid. Like, why would it... Why could we buy new things here? <laughs> oh, I got hiccups for some reason. Alright. Cutscene? Maybe? I don't know. We'll see. No? How nice of them. I feel like you want to, uh... go to the inn again. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna just do it anyway. Yeah, I'm wrong. There's all these side events with, uh... With Luke and Tyr. I just kinda keep forgetting about them. Or how to do them. Probably the same shots, right? Yeah. Clay arrow. That broken clay arrow. It's a lot more expensive than the weapons, to be fair. But... Like... They put the wrong item there. I, I don't know what happened. I'm not going to complain, but they put the wrong item there. I'm not going to worry about this stuff. Okay, I feel like this place has the expensive food. Oh no, it has decent, decent food. We need tomato for pizza there. Cheese for pizza. I feel like we're running low on bread though, probably, and I can't really buy that. Yeah, we got nine bread. Nine gave bread and six regular bread. See, you can use both. I don't know if one's better than the other, maybe? I don't know, maybe it's just different ingredients. It's like a book you could read, but it's just it's just there. Just check up on our items. I haven't really used any. I used an orange gel, apparently. I probably used life bottles. It's one of those. We're doing pretty good, actually. As late, not getting killed. That's good. Don't want to spoil anything, but... We're not spoiled. Jinx, I guess. <laughs> Spoilers, we might die more in this game. So let's go find Ion. This time we need to make sure Mose doesn't catch us. Mose should still be in Vatical. Yes, but the six god generals could still be here. We should be careful. Papa, Mama, I'm sorry. What? Did you say Papa? Oh, uh... I just thought if we asked my parents, we might find out about the six god generals. Oh, that's right. Your parents live here. So let's go visit them. Annis, we heard you've been working hard at the job Ion's given you. We're so proud. Papa, Mama, do you know what those six god general fools are up to? Now, now, Annis. That's not very polite. Boo! <laughs> Pouting won't get you anywhere, Annis. Anyway, so, what are the six god generals and Grand Maestro Moe's doing? Moe's, Largo, and Dist went to Batical. Legretta is currently inspecting Belkent. Sink headed to the Radiation Gate. We heard that Arietta will be returning from the Absorption Gate. Oh, hey, then the place is empty right now. Let's go get Ion while that's still the case. Yes. Where is Phone Master Ion? He was in the library, but he should be returning to his room about now. Okay, let's go see Ion. Oh, you're all safe! It's because you sent Ash to help. No, Ash deserves the credit for acting so quickly. By the way, what brings you back here? We need your help, Ion. 
guy will explain. Me again? So you need to measure the core's vibration frequency. The Sephiroth I know of are the absorption gate and the radiation gate. They already made me remove the Dothic seals from both. Those are the start and end points of the planet storm. I doubt they'll be good for measurement. So what do we do? If we're going to ask in Yulia City, we'll have to use the Yulia Road or get the Flight Stone back. Unfortunately, Dis took the Flight Stone. That's a problem. And you don't know the location of any other Sephiroth? I can't be certain, but there's something Legretta said on board the Tartarus. With the bridge out, we'll have to leave the Tataru Valley Sephiroth for later. Oh yeah, I remember learning that the Espanian Peninsula had a Sephiroth. Tataru Valley also had Selenia flowers in bloom. They tend to cluster around phone slots. It's worth taking a look, but the Dothic seal hasn't been unlocked. I finished what I need to do here, so I'll assist you. Thanks. Then let's all go. Just throwing this out there, because I mentioned it earlier, they quick jumped us from Annis' room, which we don't even know where it is, to here, but couldn't do that in the city. Just throwing that out there. Also, I don't know why I decided to go in Ion's room and check it out. I don't know. I feel like seeing really like sleeping quarters. I don't know. You know. His office, for some reason, is just like in front of his bedroom. Meh. Guess that's just how that works. After a long day's work, you don't want to go far. So, there you go. Alright. But yeah, I don't know if you'll see it. You might see it on the way down here. Yeah, there's a treasure chest there. Uh, can we use these other ones? No. I'm not going to bother, uh, but that treasure chest is like one of very few of a certain type of item we'll get later that I would, I would love to have. Ah, not again. Luke, are you okay? It's about time you heard me, Reject. Ash, I have bad news. Spinoza sent me in word of the plan to stop the core. The god judgments got in my way and took Spinoza. What? Spinoza barely knew anything, and they still took him. Stopping the core may interfere with their plans. What about Henkin and Kathy? If Van knows... Relax. I put them on a freighter to share. Pick up the frequency count there. What are you going to do? I'm going to keep looking for Spinoza and investigating the meaning of the core vibration. This is the last time I'll communicate with you. Luke! What did Ash say? Spinoza informed Van of our plan. Henkin and Kathy have fled to Sheridan. Damn. I'm responsible for this. It's not your fault. I was careless to have allowed him to eavesdrop. What about Ash? He won't contact us anymore. I guess he intends to work alone again. Oh, I see. If the God Generals know about our plan, we shouldn't stay here long. Okay, Natalia? Oh, right. I'm fine. Then let's go to Sheridan. Alright, but before that, we need to just save and stop because I'm approaching the half hour mark and I really want to stop playing just for now, so... I, I really like this game, but uh, every part can't be an hour long. Or I just like finish the game in one go. That'd be nice to do too. But anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope there's not a cutscene before I try to leave town. There is Fudge. Oh, hello, Annis. Arietta's come back. Oh, great. You were looking for her, weren't you? I went ahead and told her you were here. Oh, Mama, are you nuts? you murderers. Wait, Gloomietta, this isn't the place to start. I hate you. I'm going to avenge Mommy. Go! Annis, get Ion. Right. I'm not giving Ion to you. Phone Master, look out! Ah! Pamela! Mama? Now, call off your friends. Uh, but... Arietta, you know you shouldn't involve Pamela. Ion, 
Stop! Come back! Natalia, take care of Pamela. Right! Ion, are you hurt? I'm fine. Thank you, Pamela. If I was able to protect you, then I have no regrets. Guy, look out! If I was able to protect the heir to House Guardios, then I have no regrets. I remember. Thanks to you, Pamela's burns have nearly healed. I'm glad I made it in time. Pamela, thank you. I'm so sorry. You are too kind, Bone Master. Don't worry about me. What about Guy? He looked unwell. Honestly, Mama, you're the one who almost died. Mama will be fine. You should go check on Guy. He's your friend, isn't he? Okay, but make sure you stay in bed until you're better. Guy's in the chapel. Let's go. Yeah. Take care, Pamela. Thank you. Why did I run past that save point? <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I could have ended this part. Yeah, Guy just had a freak out moment, and Arietta, we haven't seen her in a while. Look, there's Tokunaga. I guess, I guess while Annis is here, it's just chilling there. I don't know. I, I like, I don't know if that's hers or or what. That's the Tatlin's room. That's pretty cool because like that's her last name and everything. Like, I don't know where I am right now. <laughs> I forget. Like, look at this. Why didn't it work much to the chapel here? <laughs> oh man. And I'm going to have to do more story, because, um... Because, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. More story. Because I didn't hit the save point up, because I'm an idiot. Yep. And I probably can't leave, because Guy's not in my party, so... Well, you guys get to an extra long video today of Tales of Abyss. Like I said, I'm not upset. I'm just saying that uh, I want you guys to watch the whole thing. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Let's talk to one of these guys. Right now, there's no one there. Oh, uh, yeah, there is. Just told me the guy's there. And Jade is also there. So that's kind of neat. Also, it looks like there's something up here. Maybe that's just a symbol on there. I don't know. Anyway. How's Pamela? She's okay now. What happened to Arietta? I turned her over to Maestro Tritheim, as Ion advised. Though I imagine she'll be set free as soon as any of the God Generals return. That little whiny, gloomy brat. Guy, are you okay? It sounded like you remembered something. Yeah, sorry for startling you. May we ask what you remembered? My memory of when my family was killed. Listen, Gylardia, you must survive to carry on House Guardios. Hide here. Don't make a sound. Mary! Shh! The Kimlaskan army is here. Stay quiet. Any bonus is a threat. Women, children, anyone, show no mercy! Move! No, leave this place at once, Surf! Then I'll make you move! My sister shielded me when I was about to be killed. And not just her. All of the maids protected me too. I was buried under their bodies, unconscious and covered in blood. When Pear rescued me, my memory was already gone. So, your female phobia is the result of emotional scarring from that incident. How pathetic. They gave their lives to protect me, and I just remember them as scary. Don't beat yourself up like that. You were just a kid, Guy. An army invaded your home and killed people right in front of you. Anyone would be scared. Luke's right. And I made fun of that fear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I must apologize as well. 
I'm truly sorry. Come on, I've forgotten all about it. You all don't have anything to apologize for. Don't worry about it. Guy, how do you feel? All right to move? Of course. Then let's get away from Doth. We're not in any shape to face the God Generals again. Yes, we were headed for Sheridan, weren't we? Yeah, I'm fine, but I'm worried about Hankin and Kathy. Don't push yourself too hard, Guy. I'm not. Let's go. Yes, quick jump! Woo! Oh my! Fancy meeting you kids here. You! The Dark Wings! Well, I guess as long as we're helping Ash, we're bound to run into you all, too. Just what is your relationship to Ash? He hired us. Don't get jealous now, little lady. We just finished bringing a couple of researchers from Belkin. Try not to irritate Ash, would you? He always takes it out on us. Um, shouldn't we be arresting these guys? But they're working for Ash. They're probably the circus people who roused the citizens in Batical to let Natalia escape. The old lady has been helping us out. I suppose we'll have to let them go again for now. Okay, I'm gonna go to the save point and ignore all you guys because I'm ending this video now. <laughs> so yes, thank you guys for watching. That ran over 10 minutes more. I've been on Smack 33, but a lot of serious things just happened, which I'll go about in the next part. But feel free to discuss it and stuff and, you know, all those things. Okay, bye.